Welcome back another week. Art by Nook here. This week we're gonna learn together. We're gonna learn what paint washes are, how to make them, and how to use them. So stay tuned. Now I can safely say that I've never used a paint wash, or if I have, it was probably like in eighth grade or some art class in high school. So I jumped online and started looking some things up. And what I finally landed on was a pretty cool tutorial by Andy Jones on a channel called Plaid Crafts. So shots out to Andy Jones and Plaid Crafts. Check them out. He explained it to me super simply. And I'm just gonna pass that knowledge on to you guys. So check that out while you check this out and we'll see how it comes out. I don't even know. All right, now for the things that you need. According to the internet, you need 70% isopropyl alcohol, as you see here. You need some little droppers, whether they're glass or those little pipettes. You need some paint, which we got here. We're gonna use yellow, cause we're gonna try to do Homer Simpson. And then we got a cup to mix in. And then of course we need to draw Homer, which we're gonna use a mechanical pencil to sketch and um, on some special paper here that um, is designed not to seep through with all the, the water. So hopefully it'll come out well, we'll find out. So the way to do it, you have to mix it in particular parts. It's one part paint, three parts water, and then the three parts alcohol. Stir all that together and it should come out pretty well. Let's find out. But before we begin, I don't know how to draw Homer from scratch, so I'm gonna look it up and we'll get him down on paper. All right, so here we got my Homer Simpson. It's not super perfect, but looks good enough. So let's continue. Here we go, we got my Homer. He's all set up. Ready to go to get painted here. As you can see, I made his lines kind of a little wobbly and stuff on purpose, not connecting. Maybe we'll see how that goes instead of the hard cartoon lines. So now it's time to get all scientific and start mixing these components. So we got the alcohol again, we got the paint, we got some water, and then we got an empty cup so we could have the actual uh, mix in there. So again, it's one part paint, three parts water, and three parts iso alcohol. So let's see what we could do there. So here we go, I got the result I was looking for. It's a thinner paint, so it kind of goes on more like a marker, other than just big globby globs of paint. So check it out. We're gonna paint the pants here. Mm -hmm. Start darkening it up. And here we're gonna add some shadows. And finally you'll see how it comes out. Time to slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna let you see the process of the outline while we're just kind of vibing here. 
The outline's kind of a special process in all of this. Kind of the grand finale. When you're outlining, you can get lost in your thoughts. Kind of work some things out or just go with the flow of the music. The music we got playing in the background is MF Doom and De La Soul. The live performance of Rock Co. Flow. So if you want to check that out, the live version is much better than the recorded version, I think. But we're just going to go around here, tracing Homer on those broken lines, and just kind of zone out for a minute, and you could see how long this really takes. So there you have it. You saw my piece, came out pretty good. I've never done it before, so I hope you enjoyed going along with the process with me. And we'll just keep doing what we're doing and check me out next time. Thanks for showing up, peace. Mm -hmm.